Last month was Yuji, and today is Gojo, Satoru Gojo. Before I jump into the review, I just want to quickly go over the mission that it was to get this guy. Uh, so if you saw my last video, you would, um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that it was kind of a last minute decision to pick up Yuji. I went on the day he came out into the shop um, and picked him up. And at that stage, the pre-orders for Gojo had already finished, but I kind of thought, hey, that's no worries. It's a retail release, there'll be plenty of stock, it was easy enough to get Yuji. Uh, so first thing this morning, I uh, woke up, got ready, headed off to Akihabara. I went to go to the same shop where I got Yuji from. Uh, they opened at 10 a.m. I got there before 10, and they had a sign outside saying they didn't have stock. I was kind of surprised. I was like, okay. Um, so I went and checked at all the shops in the area. Uh, they opened at 10, um, and yeah, no one had it. Um, a lot of shops just had zero stock. Other shops only had enough for pre-order. Um, and then I went and lined up at Radio Kaikan. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar, Radio Kaikan is one of the big uh, buildings that has a lot of shops. So for example, um, imagine this is the uh, Radio Kaikan building. Uh, and there's all the different levels of shops. There's like card shops, figure shops, um, basically anything hobby related that's in there. The entrance is at the bottom. The queue to get inside went all the way around the building. So I was all the way at the back. Um, by the time I got in, I checked all the shops going up. No one had stock. And when I found one shop that said they had stock, they said queue up at the register. That queue was looking around the whole shop already. About five seconds after getting the queue, they yelled out, hey, um, Gorge all sold out, no more. And then probably 50, 60% of the queue just dissipated, all gone. Uh, so there's definitely high demand for this guy. Um, so after checking all the shops in Akihabara, gave up, went and checked a few other shops in other areas, and then my friend recommended I go all the way out to the other side of Tokyo. Uh, there's a good concentration of shops that have a lot of figures, but since it's more suburban and it's not really a place people go to buy figures, um, you often find some good gems. The first shop I went to, they said, back order, no stock. The second shop, they said, well, we're on sale today, but we don't have any. And then the third shop, Yellow Submarine, I went in, asked, and the guy said, oh, sorry, I've sold out. But then the angel from behind the counter yelled out, hey, wait one moment, I've got one more just here, the very last one in stock. So that's how I lucked out and got Gorgeal. Uh, so pretty happy about that, otherwise I would have had to wait a few weeks for a restock. One shop said, generally at this time, it takes about two to three months for a restock, um, but they said they might get and shipments from the other branches if they don't sell out. Uh, so yeah, if you're in Japan, I um, mean you see him, it's worthwhile getting if you want him because he's going to be pretty hard to get. Uh, for overseas people, um, if you haven't got your pre-order in already and you still are able to, um, get that in fast, otherwise it's going to be a while before you'll be able to get your hands on them. Um, my uh, mate was saying that the popularity of the show is um, growing a lot in Japan at the moment, and uh, that kind of explains why the stock is a bit harder to get. Plus the fact that this is a pretty popular character as well. Anyway, that's enough about the mission of getting him. Um, yeah, let's jump into a review. Okay, so let's jump into a review. We've got the Gorgeo SH3 Arts release. Um, hit the shelves today in Japan, uh, which is April the 24th. Um, yeah, so if you watch the start of this video to its fullest, you'll know that um, he was a bitch to get, but it was worth it. Um, looking forward to popping him open, but before we do, let's check out the box. On the back, it shows a few different poses and accessories he comes with. Um, his blindfold or eye patch. Um, on and off and the different hands he has um, and on the front just if you're new to the SH Figure Arts line um, pay attention that there is the Tamashi quality uh, seal sticker on the bottom here so every release from uh, Tamashi Nations will have the sticker um, if it doesn't have it and it's a new release then it's mostly bootleg so keep an eye out for that if you are on the second hand market um, but yeah anyway let's um, pop them out and have a look at what it comes with Boom, here we go. This is him in his packaging with all the accessories. Um, let's start from the top left. We've got the head without his blindfold with those lovely sexy blue eyes, which I'm sure all the girls are going mad over. Um, and then over to the right, we've got his other blindfolded face. Um, that's kind of a open smirking. 
Um, then going down the left here now, we've got the extra blindfold, I believe it is, from once he's pulled it down. Uh, so you can chuck this around his neck when you use this head. Um, then we've got his hands here, which is from when he's doing his um, special attack. And there's a various um, posed hands here. I think these are kind of like gripping fingers. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of doing the whole pinchy pinchy um, pose, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Though, I must say, one moment. Okay, here goes Yuji for some comparison. Um, they're basically the same price retail, and uh, I guess it kind of works out to be about right, but I kind of feel like we could have gotten some extra accessories with Gojo to justify the um, pricing, because at least with Yuji, we do get the key effects. Um, but anyway, that's a small gripe. We'll go back to a Yuji comparison later anyway. Okay, so for that little bit side step, but um, let's continue with the look at Gorgio. We'll pop him out of here and check out his articulation. Boom, here we go. Um, I think this might be a little bit far away, so let's just have a quick look at his overall body and then we'll zoom in a bit closer for a closer look at his movement. Um, but yeah, overall, just from first look, he's looking pretty damn good, eh? Um, Oh, yeah, his legs has a good range of motion there. I can almost do a split. And his upper jumper, um, or jack I should say, has a nice soft um, rubbery feel. So it does move out of the way when you pose, which is great. Okay, check out that range of um, posability. is pretty good. How far back can you go? Oh, damn, that's even better. Look at that. Man, check that out. He's like a gymnast. That's awesome. Okay. For his arms, everything's pretty standard, moves nicely, there's no um, tight joints on him either, which is really good. Oh, I have a neck and head joints really good, it's nice that his neck cover here um, moves with his head as well, so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so I brought him a bit closer here so you can check out his detail. On his jacket he's got some nice lines and moulding in there which is good. Um, since it is pretty basic colouring there, there's no real um, shade or anything like that on the jacket. Um, I guess that's kind of to be expected. And, you, you know, you don't really need it either. The um, lines in here cause some nice shadowing uh, which gives it some good depth. Um, as we were looking at the shoulder joints before, um, again, yeah, the motion's really nice. It kind of has that double movement. You can get up pretty high as well. And same with the elbow, um, double jointed um, style. Allows for a good range of posability. And the same for his knee as well. The double joint works really well. And it's pretty similar to the Yuji figure in that regard. But um, one thing that kind of sticks out again, same that. It was the same with Yuji, is that the ankle here has that metal um, ring inside the ball joint there. I guess it's what they used to hold all together and to give it a bit more strength. Um, it's a bit of a shame because it does kind of stick out a bit. Um, but this is only a little bit small gripe. Okay, now that we've checked out the range of motion, which is pretty damn good, um, let's check out his accessories. Okay, so if this is your first figure arts, don't worry, they do come with an instruction manual which explains how to change all the parts. Um, but yeah, overall it's very simple. Um, we'll start off with changing the faceplate. All you have to do is kind of grab the figure and just wiggle the head and it should pop off the ball joint that it has. And then for the faceplate, it should just slide off. There we go. So it's held on by two pegs. And just align those pegs when you're placing on the other face plate and it will slot on nicely okay so once you've got the new face plate on just line up the um, peg with a hole in the head and they will pop together and <laughs> that smiley face there kind of cheeky smirk is pretty cool actually um, it's a good touch with the figure um, anyway to switch heads exactly the same thing pop it off line up the peg with a hole and they just snap together. So yeah, he's looking really good there. However, I just realized I forgot to put his eye patch on. So let's take his head off and apply that now. 
Okay, and there we go. So we've put the eye patch on around his neck. I believe that's how it's meant to go. Um, and he's also got this hand, which I think is for kind of grabbing it. Uh, so let's pop off his fist and chuck this on. Uh, to take the fist off exactly the same way, just kind of hold on his arm, kind of wiggle the fist a little bit, and it should pop right off. And then we have a slot of the new hand on. How's that? That's pretty cool. Let's get a closer look, eh? Okay, so he goes gorgeous with his um, no eye band head, with the eye band around his neck, and the extra hand switched out where he grabs onto it. Looks really good, eh? What do you guys reckon? I think this would be a cool way to pose him on the shelf, actually. Alright, anyway, enough of checking out the accessories. Let's jump on to a comparison with Yuji. Okay, so we've got Master and Pupil here, uh, Sensei Gorgio and Student Yuji. Um, yeah, the height difference is pretty good. Uh, Gorgio is definitely a bit taller, which is really nice to see. Um, but yeah, looking at these two side by side, both solid figures. I'm eh? really happy I got them. And I'm hoping they announce the rest of the team shortly. Um, but anyway, let's go into the comparison for these two figures. Um, their build and style is very similar. However, the... Um, Actually, I'm not sure if this is a design of the anime manga. Um, coming off the top of my head, actually. Uh, maybe someone can let me know in the comments below. Um, but one thing I was going to point out was that I like how Gorgeous jacket here is longer. And it covers the um, joints from in the legs and hip. Whereas with um, Yuji here, it comes a bit short. And you can completely see his crotch and all the joints here for where the legs join to the hip. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not too much of an issue but it is nice that with um Gorgia it is all covered uh so for at least me that's a big bonus um and this is more of a design thing but i like the fact that he's actually got proper full length pants instead of um the three quarter ones that yuji has here with his little wee uh twiggy ankles just poking out um yeah besides that uh the main difference probably knows is the kind of the leg joints the knee joints here is a bit different um, that is probably just due to the sheer size difference in the um, legs. Um, the cap of the knee and the joint here is all one piece. Whereas with Gorgel, it's a separate um, part. That's, I think it's a separate part at least. Or maybe it's actually fully attached. Okay. It's just a um, different design there and it seals up really nicely when the leg is fully extended. Um, the next main difference when you look at them is actually the skin colour is different. Uh, you just got that bit more of a warmer, um, kind of pinchy colour skin to them, uh, whereas Gorgia is that more of a um, pasty white. In terms of articulation, I believe they should be almost exactly the same. Yeah, so their range of motion they have in their legs is, seems to be identical, and the range in their back is really good as well. Okay, so I've got them next to each other now in their packaging um, for another comparison. Uh, kind of touching back on what I mentioned earlier in the video, um, and that's about the pricing, what they come with. Um, I double checked the pricing, they both retailed for 6,050 yen, so exactly the same price. Um, but yeah, are they worth the same price? I kind of feel like Gorgeous should have been slightly cheaper. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think that these are worth exactly the same price or if we should have got some extra accessories with Gorgia here. I mean, for a bit of a comparison, um, usually comes with one head and extra bang, so you can change to the skin of face. So this is kind of like a complete head, um, which we have with Gorgia here. And we've got the one extra face plate, whereas Yuji has the extra one. So, I mean, looking at this, I mean, a little bit more plastic in the head here, but overall pretty similar except for the fact he's got a whole extra face plate um, we do get the neck band but that's pretty simple and then the number of hands we get is what's that oh actually we do get one extra set of hands with yuji sorry with gorgia whereas with yuji we get the um key effect um which goes over his fists i mean i kind of feel like our hands really worth the cost of one whole effect I don't know, I would have, maybe I'm just wanting a bit too much, but it would have been nice to see a little bit something extra with Gorgia here. Um, whether it was something similar to this, some type of effect, or just another face plate to go with um, his uh, no eye band face there. Um, but overall, I still feel like it's a really solid price for what you are getting. 
um, and both are solid figures and I can't wait for the next range of them to come out um, nothing hey, there's been no announcement yet um, but I feel like they should be releasing the um, other teammates especially the fact that he's so hard to get so obviously the demand is there for him um, the pre-orders must have been high and any stock is that is in shops is selling out straight away so so I feel like there is the demand there for the other figures whether or not we'll get any bad guys that's another question that could be something for a premium bundle release um, but yeah thank you very much for watching um, let me know in the comments um, below what you think about these and yeah do like and subscribe for future videos Oh, one more thing, um, check out the end of this video for some high quality photos of Gorgia with the different accessories and hands. Um, and these photos will also be posted on Instagram, which is the same um, name as this channel. Cool, thank you very much for watching.